So now let us segue into fair mindedness. Mm -hmm. And as an introduction, then when we're fair minded, then we are able to weigh viewpoints and ideas mm -hmm. objectively mm -hmm. without our interest mm -hmm. being considered, mm -hmm. except that it is considered alongside the rights and needs of everyone else involved. Right, right. But I'm not putting myself in a position where I see my desires as more important right. um, than others. That again is where the difficult part is yeah. because we are egocentrically drawn to selfishness by our very nature. You could say in order to self-protect for those who want mm -hmm. to use evolutionary theory, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it, and we do know that we have to protect ourselves in childhood. And I think that human life was so complicated from the beginning that we've had to use these mechanisms in childhood that then turn against us in adulthood mm -hmm. and, and are our worst enemies. Mm -hmm. so that's another discussion on egocentricity. But it's mm -hmm. all relevant to my or someone's ability to think fair-mindedly yeah so fair-mindedness when we are when we are thinking fair-mindedly we are able to put aside our intellectual vices to to put aside the things that are keeping us in a an egocentric let's say viewpoint or sociocentric viewpoint so now we see that we've got to consider a lot of different viewpoints and we've got to do that in a way that is in good faith. And I think that's the fair-minded piece. Yeah. And let me say, one of the things you mentioned earlier is uh, that when I'm fair-minded, I'm fair also to myself. That is, fair-mindedness and ethically does not mean self-abnegation. It doesn't mean my interests don't matter or I should not let them matter. Uh, but there's also a danger in considering being fair to myself because what feels fair to myself is not the same as what is not necessarily the same as what is fair, what is fair to myself. Because fair to myself means something like when you're thinking of fair minded, it means fair to myself in the same way I'm fair to everybody else. <laughs> that is, I'm not entitled to more consideration. And one way that often comes up is that groups of people, I don't want to give specific examples, but people who are in, who can be classified as oppressors um, in one realm or another, mm -hmm. um, when that, their ability to oppress others in that way starts being taken away or is taken away or is taken away suddenly, they feel, well, it's not fair to me. That's not fair to us, to our group, to have this, this uh, custom or this way of acting that's that we've always engaged in, have that taken away, it, that's unfair to, uh, to us. We got, you got to consider my rights as well. Mm -hmm. And so there's this, uh, there's this, uh, it's not a problem. Uh, there's a, just a kind of danger when you consider fair to myself and uh, confuse the feeling of being fair to myself with a careful, accurate mm -hmm. analysis of what, what fair to myself really means. It really means so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Well, that that's true. So this will require us to have a a very deep understanding of our own egocentricity. It requires that. It's a necessary condition, not, yes, not yes, a sufficient right. one. Right. 